what I've got is a blade that's been hacked out, roughly made to suit this template. The next stage is for me to mark and drill two holes for this spine, and then I'm just going to sit that on this wooden block, because that makes everything easier to hold, and just build the thing up, one side only, and start nibbling at things until it's almost looking like it'll fit together. There's still the trace there of the, the template outline for that notch. I'll file that up to make it sweet and then I can scribe through that to tell me how to modify the spine. Mm -hmm. uh, and at that point we'll heat treat it. You remember from the early stages all I'm really interested in is how that point touches the underside of the spine and how that region touches the end. All the rest, it doesn't have to be a precise fit, but I will make that nice and rounded and amenable to having dirt flicked out of it at some point. That's great. If I finish the spine by removing that much material and sorting out the underside to suit that notch, and they'll still be here to play with getting the setup right when it's closed. God, I'm good. That was the spine, and I've nibbled at it a little bit, and I roughly made some sides last night, and then I stuck the sides down onto this block just to make it all easy to manage. I had the spine set up, and the blade had been 90% shaped, and it was then a matter of holding it in place and trying to estimate how much needed removing to get it to engage. Mm -hmm. So after a bit of trial and error fitting, get it to go together, uh, and then first task is to use the, the linisher to get a nice curve back of the spine, back of the blade. Mm -hmm. That's the bit that's really hard to get right just by using templates and drawings. It involves lots of squinting against a white background. It's then a matter of setting the spine against the underside of the tang so that the blade shut with enough space not to forever keep dulling itself yes. and, and at a point where the spine is again flush so that involves just nibbling away at that region until it's almost down. I had to put a bit of a set on this last night Right. Uh, and that involves holding it in a vice with some soft jaws mm. putting a piece of pipe over the end and just tweaking it mm. bit by bit. Mm. The shape of the knife I'm quite happy with mm. It hasn't got these pins sticking out. It encourages you to hold it in a way that's quite mm. not amenable to stabbing because it hasn't got a tip really. And if you were to stab somebody, your fingers are likely to slide forward. So that's good. But for whittling oranges into a likeness of grandma, it's great. <laughs>